Okay, here we go. I've tried this the other day without freeze drying it and it came out really good. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to make a big batch of tuna salad and we're going to freeze dry it and see how it reconstitutes. And since you can't freeze dry mayonnaise, I'm substituting the mayonnaise with the cream cheese. So what I have here is uh, two blocks of cream cheese softened. Hopefully it's softened enough by now. And we're going to dump two cans. I'm going to use, use the liquid too because I want this kind of runny. Of tuna fish. Let's see, these are the uh, 12 ounce cans in water. So I'm going to Dump two of those in there. Try and get that started mixing with one. This came out really delicious. not freeze-dried. I haven't tried it freeze-dried, but just fresh. This was delicious. That's my second can. Trying to get all that cream cheese broken down. Okay. That already tastes good. Now I got a cup of chopped sweet onions and a cup of finely chopped celery. Before I've, I've freeze dried celery before and it did not want to rehydrate in big chunks so I finally chopped this and hopefully that will rehydrate well. We don't want no cheese lumps in that, so I'm just kind of going through it, making sure all that cheese is broken down. Okay, now let's get some. Okay, now let's get some sweet pickle relish. Let's see, I'll probably put about a cup in there. Now, let's 
start with that. That's about three quarters of a cup. Don't want to overdo it. Let's give that a taste, see what that tastes like. It tastes good, but definitely needs more pickles. So I'm going to put the other quarter cup in there. That's one cup pickles, one cup onions, one cup, cup finely chopped celery. And I've made this kind of runny on purpose so I can spread that out in my tray nicely. And plus I wanted that cheese to get all dissolved. Give that a taste of I think we're there. Not too. Oh, that's why I didn't use sweet relish. I got dill relish from the store. Bad gummit. I was going to say, it didn't taste too sweet. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some sugar in that. Read the jar, John, when you buy things. <laughs> it, right, it must have been right next to the sweet relish. We got there in the end. That's good. Yeah. Very good. I like sweet relish, not dill relish. But that sugar did the trick, so we'll move on. Okay, let's get 
my scale out here. All right, that's two pounds. Two pounds of tuna, tuna salad, probably more than enough on this tray. Okay, I'll stick that in the freezer and we'll get on with the next tray. Okay, that's 1.3 pounds, so I'm going to take some off that other tray, kind of even them out. Total so 1.5, 1. 1.65 is what I want. That'll be about half. Okay, we'll get that in the uh, freezer, get it frozen solid, and we'll put her in the uh, freeze dryer, and I'll see you when it comes out. Okay, so here we go. These are my two trays of freeze-dried tuna salad made with no mayonnaise. So what I want to do, I want to get this jarred up pretty quick, and then we're going to test some of this rehydrate it let me get these in the most of it in the jar very delicate okay so we got that vacuum sealed. You don't want no moisture to get in that. It's very light and fluffy with a 300 cc oxygen absorber and at a later time I'm going to break these down into individual servings if it reconstitutes all right. So let's give it a try. So I got one cup of cool water there. I'm not going to put that all in at once but we're going to kind of see how much it takes. Not a lot. Smells good. Reconstituted extremely quick. And I'm going to say that that in real time is reconstituted already. Very little water at all required 
fact, I may have put uh, too much on there. I don't know. It'll, it'll hold, so it kind of holds on the fork. So, that'll do. Let's do a taste test. That is really good. The onions in there, I can taste, they're a little bit chewy, the onion, everything else is reconstituted except for the onion. But, geez, what are we talking? I have, didn't put the timer on, but that's probably been sitting, what, for a minute while I stirred it up? I am happy with that. It tastes just like tuna fish salad made with mayonnaise. Yeah, I love this stuff. I am super, super, super happy with that. You do get a slight taste of the cream cheese. But it's not an overwhelming cheese taste, which isn't a bad thing anyway with the cheese taste, but it's more of a creamy taste with a hint of cheese. Look at that. Freeze-dried tuna fish salad. There's only really one thing to do with that tuna fish salad. Is get your handy dandy loaf of bread out. And put that on some bread. I'm going to save a little bit for my brother to taste. There we go. A nice tuna fish sandwich. Mm, mm -mm. That is a huge success. I will definitely be doing that. This is a. This was my first entree for my MREs that I'm going to be making up. The idea being, I'm going to make a bag that's going to have three meals in it, a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner. This will be the lunch. I'm not using bread, but uh, you have to watch the video. i got some special crackers to, to do those with. with. But 100% success. I think you'll like this if you try it. You'll be amazed how creamy it tastes. One happy camper. I'll see you in the next video.